Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have a look at the latest from the GFS, the GM, the e, uh, Eastern DOF, the GFS and Eastern DOF ensembles and we'll finish up having a look at the 5 day precipitation and temperature from the UK Met Office run. Now yesterday we did have a look at the potential for seeing a cold plume of air coming uh, uh, coming down from the north perhaps in the longer term. We're still seeing signals of some blocking in the longer term but I think our sort of concentration has to be shifted more to the fine and dry weather that we're going to be seeing over the next week or so. Yes there are hints of perhaps cold weather in the longer term but for the time being it looks really quite pleasant with a lot of spring sunshine perhaps even some spring warmth that looks likely next week we will be seeing temperatures get up into the mid to high teens quite widely perhaps even 20 degrees could be reached it does look like though there will be massive diurnal ranges with temperatures in the day getting up towards 17 and 18 degrees overnight getting down to low single digits if not towards freezing as we are under a center of a high pressure system seeing a bit of an inversion overnight with clear skies still seeing a lot of uh sort of a lot of radiation so we're seeing uh it cooled down significantly at night, but in the day could still be quite warm. So do remember, if you enjoy my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. And remember to follow me on Twitter as well, the link's in the description. So do start with the GFS. You can see high pressure is firmly in control today. And we're seeing really quite pleasant conditions with dry, sunny weather getting a little bit warm today as well. Now beyond that, we do see... High pressure retrogress, uh, well, not retrogress, but move slightly further northwards towards Scandinavia. And we do see a brief cold pool move in for Sunday. And that's going to turn things a little bit chillier for a time. You can see the minus 5 line, a very small pocket of minus 5 air, which is really quite cold, um, moving in to the far southeast. Now, it's not going to be crazy cold, but temperatures will be back down to around 9, 10, 11 degrees overnight towards freezing. Before high pressure builds back in once again fully with... Oh, sort of a mild air mass really look at those upper air temperatures it's around or slightly above average in terms of upper air temperatures but under the center of a high pressure system that's why we uh, that's why we're going to be seeing warm days but chilly nights as well uh, of course 15 degree swings overnight uh, into the daytime now beyond that high pressure hangs around all the way until the next weekend and it stays really quite pleasant but then beyond that, day 10 and beyond, that's where we start to see the potential for a bit of blocking. And you can see that's higher pressure up towards the Arctic, low pressure running back in, jet stream pushed southwards. And you can see some cold air could be spilling into the middle latitudes, perhaps. Now, of course, in this run, you see the low pressure uh, sort of uh, sits further southwards over towards the uh, towards the middle of the Atlantic, towards sort of Spain area. That actually starts to bring up a southerly wind. So this is a scenario where blocking can bring up some warmer weather. But there is still a fairly high chance we do see something colder in the longer term, at least for a period of time, whether it's just a brief northerly wind or it's a proper northerly recently uh, sort of plume of cold air. We'll have to see, of course, with that. But for the time being, I think everyone's going to enjoy the warm, dry weather we're going to be seeing next week. Uh, and Well, next day or two, cold a little bit on Sunday, Monday, and then all of next week looks really quite fine and dry for pretty much the whole of the country. Will be some cloud around but most areas will be seeing plenty of sunshine now if you have a look at the gm run see how that does compare high pressure building in at the moment then we see that brief colder pool into the far southeast and then high pressure builds in once again with a south to southeasterly airflow looking really quite warm under there then we see the potential for a bit of a colder plume you can see the real cold air spreading into scandinavia not quite getting towards the uk and western europe but seeing a bit of chillier air moving in there, that would cool things down perhaps towards day 10. Still under high pressure, so dry, sunny, minimal uh, precipitation at all, but turning perhaps a little bit chillier there. The 850 HPA temperature, so you can see that real cold air just to our east, and we could start tapping into that if we did see a bit more of an easterly develop. But generally things still looking very dry, perhaps more of a signal for blocking towards day 10, turning things a little bit colder. But very similar to the GFS really over the next seven days in terms of a lot of dry and warm weather. And as we see the UK Met Office run at the end of the video, make sure you stay tuned for that. We'll be able to see uh, we'll be able to see the real warmth potentially uh, into the start of next week. So do now have a look at the ECMEF, see how that does compare over the next 10 days. High pressure building in, we see that brief colder pool there, just that area of green, upper level trough, precipitation potentially within that, but shouldn't be too heavy. And then we see a south to southeasterly flow under the centre of high pressure, 
And again, look at that temperature deviation. See around or slightly above average in terms of upper air temperatures. Nothing too crazy. Uh, and looking pretty decent with high pressure. And you can see the longer, the longer term, maybe a bit of a signal for colder air to fall into Europe a bit. You can see that heading into Eastern Europe, not towards the UK, but another sign of something colder uh, heading into the mid latitudes. Not for the UK on this ECMWF run, uh, but still that signal in the longer term. And you get, of course, you look at the temperature deviation, you can see really, really far below average uh, with that cold plunge. Now, could head towards the UK, but at this stage, uh, nothing, nothing too direct. But as we'll see with the ensembles in a minute, there are some going very, very cold indeed. But as I said at the start of the video, we should concentrate really on the warm and dry weather we have coming next week. So if we do have a look at the ensembles, you can see it's really well reflected. Pretty warm over the next day or two, and that's where we're going to see temperatures get up into the mid-teens. Then we see that cold pool, especially in the far southeast, bringing temperatures back down to mid to high single digits. Cold overnight, and a few showers around with that, before temperatures return to a couple of degrees above average for the foreseeable future, all the way perhaps to the end of March. But right in the long term, massive uncertainty we see some maybe about a third or a quarter of the ensemble members going bitterly cold and that's with one of those northerly or easterly plunges but many others stay quite mild under higher pressure so a bit of uncertainty in the longer term perhaps because of the stratospheric warming but at this stage i'm not expecting anything too crazy got to concentrate on the warm weather this coming week if you look at the sea level pressure, you can see generally higher pressure, dipping perhaps lower pressure in the longer term, of course, perhaps with lower pressure coming in from the north. But, as I said, high pressure firmly control, minimal precipitation, really. And if we have a look at the two metre temperature and precipitation, you can see generally warm over the next day or two, perhaps a couple of degrees above what the ensemble members are showing in the sunshine. Then chillier next week uh, through Sunday, Monday, perhaps only 9, 10 degrees, maybe a couple of degrees higher, depending on how quickly that cold pool does move away and then beyond that all of next week from tuesday all the way to the weekend temperatures widely around 15 to 20 degrees across many central areas of course there will be some sea breezes around some very local sort of microclimate conditions that could cool things down a little bit but majority of places are going to be warm and sunny longer term you can see some dropping off significantly some staying warm and that's because of the uncertainty with the upper level conditions so we do have a look at the ECM DF ensemble, we'll see how those do compare, we'll just have a look at the Andrew 50 HPA temperatures and precipitation. You can see, very similar, warm at the moment, or above average at the moment, much colder for, towards Sunday, Monday, and then returning much above average by a few degrees. With that continuing all the way into the longer term, perhaps a big dip towards the last couple of days of March and start of April with the ensemble mean going down below the 1981-2010 mean. But again, it's longer term. Very uncertain, and we can't say too much about it at this stage. So we do finish up the video by having a look at the UK Met Office precipitation and temperature. Now you can see, dry at the moment. Very minimal precipitation. That's going to continue over the next couple of days. Um, nothing really at all. Some cloud around. Saturday does look like it's going to be an amazing day. If you want to do anything uh, outside over the next few days, Saturday afternoon is the day. Um, uh, always the, is the time really. For Sunday though, we do start to see potentially a bit of precipitation in the far southeast with that cold pool of air uh, along the east coast as well. But generally nothing too bad, just temperatures down a little bit. And you can see just really, really dry. A few showers in the far southwest maybe on Wednesday, but that's a bit far away really to be forecasting convective showers too well. Now I can see earlier this morning it was pretty chilly, but by this afternoon temperatures ris rising to around 14, 15 degrees. Pretty pleasant indeed. Tonight, temperatures down to maybe 4 or 5 degrees, maybe a degree or two colder in a few spots. And tomorrow afternoon, going to be pretty decent indeed. 13 to 15 degrees, feeling decent in the sunshine. Not massively warm, as, uh, it's not going to be, of course, crazy, but pretty decent. For Saturday night, we're going to see temperatures drop away again to low single digits. As I said, going to be a big day-night shift. 15 degree plus possible for some regions. By Sunday afternoon, you can see it's much colder, between 5 to 10 degrees along that far east could be down to only four or five degrees feeling more wintry out there early hours of monday widespread frost with cold rare mass and under the center of the high as i said could be really chilly but my monday afternoon temperatures rising back to around 14 15 degrees in the far south monday evening not too cold a bit colder in the north my tuesday afternoon temperatures widely 17 18 degrees um in sort of the peak areas only, uh, uh, and sort of lowest maybe 14 or 15 degrees and of course near the coast Especially the east coast could be a little bit colder than that, 
um, but of course that's not too unexpected this time of year with cold North Sea sea surface temperatures. Beyond that though, it does still chilly overnight, but you can see by next week, sort of Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday time, it's going to be warm and sunny, proper beautiful spring-like conditions. So I hope you can go out and enjoy that over the next week or so. There is going to be some colder days around, you've just got to keep an eye on it. Uh, if you are planning to do anything outside, I would avoid perhaps Sunday and Monday. Those are the colder days, and um, still going to be dry, but going to be colder and could be feeling more wintry, but definitely the next day or two. And then, of course, from Tuesday onwards, it's going to be really quite pleasant and warm out there with plenty of sunshine. So make sure you do go out and enjoy it. Perhaps the best week of the year so far in terms of weather conditions could be coming next week. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you again for another video soon.